Good morning guys, it is Monday. I'm looking quite puffy this morning, but I'm going to go ahead and do my skincare. So it's been about five days since I arrived in Japan. Today I am leaving my grandparents' place, which is where I've been staying, to go to an Airbnb and I thought I might show you guys what a week vlog looks like for me in Japan. I mean, obviously it's different every time, but the one thing I must say is I feel like I do not spend my time like a typical tourist. <laughs> in Japan because well I'm not really a tourist I usually come here obviously to enjoy my time but I also do come here a lot of the time to spend time with my family and friends so I do prioritize that so it's going to look a little different than your average like travel vlog because I'm just not really a tourist I've been here many many times I lived here yeah I thought I would just show you guys a week in a vlog does that make sense Oh, hi, yo. Oh. Hmm? Ah, go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the なんで私が持つのにそんな。俺が湧いてる。誰にも負けるつもりはないんで、僕たち二人で作り上げていきましょう。今日はまだ持つ。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。
Oh, I think we're on the opposite side. This is the outside view. Oh, I think Skytree is literally like right around the corner. Unfortunately, we cannot see Skytree, but I mean, this ain't bad, right? Also, I just noticed on the bed, look at the amount of little like shampoos, conditioner, body soap, little soaps, and I think this is laundry detergent, but yeah, pretty well stocked, I'd say. Not that I really need it. This is what I was looking for, my makeup and my skincare bags because I need to get ready to go out for dinner with my friend. I have to head to, out to Shibuya and I'm just chatting with Logan. I mean, I guess I was just on the phone to you at the station, so... <laughs> Ponita's name is Ponita in Japanese as well. Mm -hmm. Ponita. Got the line in it. Got the line in the coconut. Dude, I was going to say that too. <laughs> Put the line in the Ponita. I'm using my new mini mascara. Can we see it? It's so cute. Well, I haven't paid attention to what the time is. Oh, plenty. Plenty, plenty. For the last little bit. We're gonna do our little mist. Alright. Oh, my bags look kind of terrible. But my completed look, now I need to get changed. Alright, so I'm ready to head out. It's actually been really, really warm during the day, but apparently it's getting cold at night. So I'm gonna single it, but I'm gonna throw on a jacket. This is my look for y'all, right by the Ginkan. But let's head to Shibuya. <laughs> So where are we now? Gasto. Gasto is a Famiesu. Which Famiesu stands for? <laughs> Family <laughs> restaurant. I'm gonna get some dessert. Dessert time. So, drink bar is 100 grams. No matter how much you drink, it's not enough. Really? Yeah. 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 Nothing at the apartment, so I need some like tea and maybe something to eat for breakfast. So, oh my gosh, they have another sweet potato ice cream. I think I need to get it and a green tea for my coffee tomorrow. No pun. All right, time to start the bus, take my makeup off, and go to sleep. So, thanks for joining me on this fine Monday. Good morning and welcome to Tuesday. I don't know if I'm missing something, but I cannot find a plug in the kitchen counter. So I have to plug the kettle here. It's like right in the camera. My stomach's gurgling, so I need some coffee and I'm gonna eat my minnow pan that I got last night. I could not sleep last night. I don't know why. I mean, it was around like one o'clock by the time, maybe later, that I was getting to sleep. I just like could not sleep. So I think I finally fell asleep around like 4 a.m. So that's me today. Um, this might be loud. <laughs> Today is a main game plan. Do like a bit of a supply run, wash my hair, a little bit of work because tomorrow I'm actually going to Disney Sea with Sarah, the friend that I met up with last night. Today's a bit of a like a reset and I need to get a little bit of work done. Like I need to respond to emails and stuff. But first, I'm gonna put in some coffee because I really do feel like I need it. It is wasteful, but I love the fact that Japan has like single drip coffee bags, like a billion options for them. My 
first one to the screen here. Mm. Man, it just goes so good with coffee. going to head out in a moment. It's already past lunchtime and I should probably get something to eat. Popping on some sunscreen of course we head out. I don't know what I want to eat. I was thinking about going to Kurazashi because it's literally like right there. I don't know maybe I'll do a little bit of a wander and see what's out there because I have already eaten sushi like three times in like five days. Not that I'm complaining. I would eat sushi like any day. So here's the famous Tokyo Soramachi. And stay tree right there. I think we'll hop in and see what kind of food we can get. I think I've decided on Chinese food. Yours are the one that's not going to be a good thing. Yeah, so that's all. Morning, morning. Yeah, so that's all. Morning, morning. Yeah, so that's all. I wanted to get gyoza, but they're huge and the smallest is eight. I took the rat. So I got like a prawn egg. I don't even know what you call it. So it's meat, rice, a little bit of pickles, and see. It's good. the day is the grocery store which luckily there is one huge one outside sky tree and like a minute walk from my airbnb so i'm gonna head on in Ooh, i've got plenty of beauty stuff here look we found tori dan and of course our heroine make Literally just tuna sashimi. Might be boring, but honestly, go for some chicken. Salad. Oh my god. Tomato coffee. Coffee jelly. And banana puree. Alrighty, so I obviously washed my hair. I am worried to what it's gonna look like because I don't have any of my hair tools. I went and got dinner at the grocery store, as you guys probably saw. For dinner, I am having a little chicken salad. This is katsu. I don't even know what katsu is, but I'll put it on the um, screen. I used to eat it a lot when I was living in Japan. I kind of just missed it, so I got that. I also got a umeshi, just one drink to treat myself, and a little bit of rice. So that's my dinner bought at the supermarket. I know it's probably like a lot more convenient to eat out and stuff in Japan, but honestly you can get so much good food at the grocery store for so cheap. So if you're like trying to save money while you're traveling in Japan and stuff, I highly recommend just going to a supermarket. There's so much to explore. So I'm I'm just gonna enjoy this and yeah thanks for joining me for Tuesday oh, oh yeah that's good good morning guys it's a Wednesday I'm currently on the bus on the way to Disney Sea which I'm so excited about I'm trying not to speak too loudly because everyone's very quiet on this bus unfortunately I got like no sleep last night I think I got like one hour so we'll see how I last throughout the day but we're going to Disney So cute, bike shots. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
She's wearing a... She's wearing a witch's hat. Hi. It's Pluto! Honestly, probably my favorite show on property. Big Bam B. I'm gonna go line up. So we just sat down to watch Big Bambi and honestly probably the best seats I've ever sat in and we waited less than an hour. Fifth row. Yay. The park is pretty empty it is. today, it's really yeah, empty. pretty quiet, but number one most recommended show personally is to watch if you come to Disney. Nikki's amazing. We made it to Arabian Coast. Now why did we come here? So for lunch we got the curry sampler, which is so different. Oh yes, me, but that's fine. Thank you, Max. Shouldn't put that. I'm not gonna cut up the chicken. This is so good, beef. And the chicken looks good. Finally got some ears. I got Olu. This is so cute. And there's the globe. We totally ran past it this morning. <laughs> I think my favorite ride at Tokyo DCC is Tower of Terror. So I'm going to hop on because it's only a 45 minute wait. Honestly, it's like really short for Tower of Terror. Sarah's going to skip it. So she's going to go get a drink and we'll meet up in a little bit. But I'm so excited. I haven't been on Tower of Terror in like, gosh, I don't know. Five plus years. I didn't get to go on one last time I was here, so it's going to be terrible. Night time at Disney Sea is also honestly phenomenal. So pretty. All right, let's head to Soren. Soren. If we're trying, <laughs> I'm a big back um, from the park it literally started raining and like lightning and thunderstorms like as I was on the bus I don't know why but I really really felt like Namiko no Misashiro Good morning, it is Thursday. I have not even washed my face yet, so excuse my face. Today is a bit of an organization day because I need to figure out plans and stuff for pretty much the rest of my trip, like meeting people and my crusty thighs, dude. <laughs> like organize when I need to upload videos for YouTube and things like that. It has already been a week, which is kind of crazy. Time really does fly. I am here for a month, but I knew... Literally sounded like someone was trying to unlock my door. 
So I'm going to try to figure out like when exactly I'm doing things and also um, kind of clean up this apartment a little bit. It's not bad, but I just have a mess on the table and I've got like laundry out and stuff. Also, I'm going to be filming a eating only convenience store food for 24 hours because, you know, everybody does it and I've never done it before. So I thought I might as well do it in Japan. But yeah, that's the plan. So let's take on this Thursday. <laughs> My skin honestly has not been doing too well in Japan, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get sunscreen. I brought this House of Her Weightless Sun Fluid Sunscreen to like test out in Japan because a lot of people were saying it was really good for like oily skin and in more humid temperatures or climates, which like Japan kind of is during warmer months. So it looks like my head is. Because it's good for oily skin, I thought that it would have more of like a mattifying finish, but honestly, it's just like really light and still leaves enough of like a moisture on my skin even for my dry skin so I actually have been really enjoying it, it's quite nice Skincare done for the morning Let's get some coffee dude Good morning Skytree So you can literally see Family Mart from my building It's Family Mart's right there just take a sip first. Uh, breakfast from Family Mart. From memory, it was 1,013 yen for all of that. been dealing with this fiasco of trying to get a parcel since I arrived in Japan because I was supposed to get it sent to the Airbnb but I wasn't here yet. I tried to track it and it was just like going nowhere and then I was telling my friend about it, Sarah, and she was like, do you want me to just call them? And she is such an angel. She figured out that it wasn't even with the careers that it was supposed to be with. It was with a different career and it was sitting in their depot, I guess, and it didn't have like a shipping address to it. But she was able to give them my new address and they literally shipped it like within an hour and I was like oh my god thank goodness I'm probably gonna see her again tomorrow <laughs> by the way Sari is my friend from junior high Japanese school we went to school together in Australia but Japanese school like on Saturdays every week during our junior high like chugakuse period so yeah that's how i know her i think that's pretty much it for today i focused on vlogging the um kombini video and i'm gonna try edit it a little bit but yeah i'll see you on friday i totally forgot to vlog this morning all i did was get up to my skincare and now i'm eating breakfast so uh, hello, yeah. Today's nothing crazy. I need to edit. I'm gonna go see my friend and hang out. That's about it. So, I guess we'll see where the day takes us. Fit check. This is today's look. Pretty much all white. I also have this bloody social stain on it. Classic, but don't have time to wash it. So, here we go. <laughs> In Sky Tree, they have this little Harry Potter shop. And they have the sorting hat. Just floating. No, I'm Gryffindor. <laughs> so why don't we decide on eating today? Buffet. 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 So we got salad bar here. Oh, this looks good. Actually, the dressing doesn't look that good. It's a crazy pork. Pork. I think oh, she said pork. So the roast pork is the special butter chicken curry and clam chowder. 
so yum. We also have some ice creams in here and freight machine, fruit and puff pastries. There's a variety of and then I guess the main dishes are got pizza, pasta, and then it looks like some roast vegetables, fried chicken, and everyone's digging in. So I'm gonna dig in too. So we've selected our first round. This is my main plate. Of course, I have a salad plate, and then peach lychee super sweet tea, and then this is Sada's perfect looking plate. And Wait, but the salad and what's your drink? Oh no, you don't die. I saw. Plate. Yeah, that looks so good. I was a little fruit bowl. <laughs> Yeah, you got my pastas. Oh, you got the omelette. I'm kind of curious. Let me know. Round three is dessert with the coffee. Sugar cream, prepared roll, Earl Grey cake, wadabi mochi, chocolate mousse, matcha tiramisu, and chocolate ganache. Let's try the matcha tiramisu. Oh. This is too much matcha inside. Usually I like a little matcha, but I feel like this is a little much. Everything else seems really, really good though, I must say. No, this is too much matcha. Probably the last round, I made like a little mini poke bowl and then mumbran, pudding, and a little bit of strawberry ice cream. Last round! Okay, I'm in another shop in um, Skytree. Might be so loud, you might not be able to hear me, but it has absolutely everything. It's kind of like Village Vanguard, I guess, but we've got like character modes for literally anything you can think of, I feel like. One of my favorites, Konam, Dragon Ball. They've got, I don't even know what this is, Evangelion. Literally everything. And I've lost Sara. I saw her and I lost her again. Ooh, look at Zelda. A bottle blender. So cute. Hello there. <laughs> Ooh, what did oh, you yeah. buy? So at Plaza, today's theme is green. So, this one looks so yummy. It is the Saborino mask, but it is Uji Matcha, Matcha Milk. It smells like Matcha Milk. Yeah, so I got that. And then being on the theme of green, I thought I'd try a green mascara because that's something I've never tried before. It is from the brand Bitter, which I know they're famous for their like, lip stuff, but I've never tried their eye stuff. So, I've got it in a color forest green. So, open it. And what did Sarachan get? Sarachan got from the Ultraman World M78 official shop. <laughs> you know this one. Mm. It's a ultra ultra jug. It's literally called oh ultra God. jug. That's it. Ah. In Japan, they call this a jokki. It's like a big beer glass of. What is it? Maritan Seiji. Maritan Seiji. And she got it for her. Husband, because wait, today, right? Yes. Today's your wedding anniversary. Yay! You're with me. Yeah, Happy today. wedding anniversary. Yeah. So everybody congratulates Sarah on her Yay. wedding anniversary in the comments. Yay! Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> Sarah left and now it's a little past seven and I thought I'd grab a dinner. I'm not like super hungry, but there's no way I'm skipping a meal while I'm in Japan. So I think I'm going to go to um, Moss Burger because it's like a 30 second walk from my Airbnb. Let's head on out and get some Moss Burger. I haven't quite decided what I want. Maybe I'll get that like limited edition burger, but... Oh, I need to put my shoe on. Okay. Let's get in. Okay, let's hope I have my key. Okay, let's see how long it actually takes me to walk to Moss Burger from my Airbnb. Oh, it might be longer than 30 seconds. I lied. Just... 
Okay, 57 seconds. So basically a minute, but we are here. ポテトのエムセットね。はい。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうござい
literally I stepped out the apartment and then realized I hadn't worn sunscreen yet. So I came back in to apply my sunscreen. Alrighty. Maybe a little on the back of my neck since I have my hair up today. Let's get it. Made it to Mr. Donut. These vlogs really be just me eating. <laughs> Surprisingly, the coffee took quite some time to get, but I got a cafe or whatever. Coffee in Japan's, you know, it is what it is. As a snobby Melbourneian, um, <laughs> it's fine, but coffee's coffee, you know. I got Mr. Donut. It was like completely empty when I walked in, but then by the time I was leaving, it was like hella busy. I got one savory. It's like cheese meat pie. So I was like, maybe I'll get a little like touch of Australia in this little meat pie business. I did go for like mostly classics because they just are good. I got the old fashioned in cinnamon. Ponderingu. I love the ponderingus because they're so like mochi mochi texture to it that I feel like you do not get in any other this one looks kind of like ponderingu, but this is part of their sweet potato range they have at the moment, which is for autumn, like limited edition. The satsumaimo do daigakuimo, which daigakuimo is like basically sweet potato roasted or whatever, and then coated in this kind of like sugar coating. Yeah, like candied sweet potato essentially. I might heat up the meat pie one because I feel like that would definitely be better, um, warmer. That's me lunch. Lunch? Brunch? Snack? Hmm? I'm gonna edit while I eat. Yeah, today's pretty much an editing day, so. Let's see how much that is. Like, mm -hmm. can't go wrong, can't go wrong. Now, I'm very curious about this. It smells so good. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, that's good. I can like only see cheese. It's got a very slight hint of like what a meat pie tastes like, but overall it definitely tastes tastes more cheesy. Sweet potato one. Ooh. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much like a regular dense donut, but that flavor is sweet potato. I'm going to enjoy my donuts, enjoy my coffee, and do some editing. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alrighty, I'm gonna head out to the lash salon. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> so here's the salon. They have the little sign out front and just walk in there. I'm a little bit early, so I'm just gonna wait outside a little bit because I don't want it to be awkward. done and then went by the grocery store I tried to get like a brighter place to show you guys like the lashes but this camera might be really like warpy so <laughs> I'll try to get like a better shot on my iPhone but there's like two types of lash perm I guess and I ended up getting the one that wasn't the one I booked because she said like one is like a really like natural curve and then the other one's like a full like 90 degree angle from like your like the bottom of them and I was like it's my first time I don't really want to do like something crazy so yeah this is the result I mean it was only like 4,000 yen overall it was like a pretty good experience and I was like a little nervous to how it would feel getting my lashes fiddled but like it didn't sting or anything so yeah I'd so it's it. just past six o'clock and I'm gonna go get dinner at Kurazushi bit of an early dinner today but I ended up just having like donuts for a brunch and that was kind of it. I must say I do love Japan's like culture of eating by yourself if that makes sense. Like it's very common for a lot of people to eat by themselves. I feel very comfortable going out and eating even if I'm by myself during this trip which I think is nice which I'm not always the same in like other places. So we're gonna go get kaiten zushi solo which I honestly don't think I've ever done in my life actually. <laughs> I 
guess I didn't think about the fact that this location might be really busy because it's right by Skypree and it says it's about a 54 minute wait for counter and then I think it said like the seating for tables was like around 9 o'clock which is like 3 hours from now. Okay, finally able to sit down. He said it was going to be a 54 minute wait, which I don't think it was quite 54 minutes. I think it was about 40 minutes. So not terrible, but it is a Saturday night. I'm so ready to eat. I'm going to make myself a little um, green tea. I have this little green tea powder. Pop it in. And then I have this hot water, like fountain. Yes, hot. Smell it in. We have green tea. First things first, I usually do get a tuna because that's my favorite soup. You can order at your um, tablet, that's here. And then you do also have the sushi that's like obviously just on the conveyor belt that comes around. Ta -ta. We got Ikura. I did just order tuna. I thought maybe I should get. So I just get it? Yeah. You know what? I'll eat it. Yeah. We got regular tuna and then also prawn. Yeah, it was worth the wait. And you get the ginger as like a little palate cleanser. This one is squid and okra. You can see it. It's got so much on it. I had this last time and really enjoyed it. So. Lotto. So every five plates that you like send down this shoe. You get to play a game on the screen and you win or lose and if you win you get a little toy or something. Oh, I didn't get it. I ended up winning the gacha so I'm gonna get my little gacha pod now. Machine here and then you get a QR code on your phone. Oh, cute. Oh, that was close. Like a little gacha. Alright, let's see what you got. Oh wait, it's actually JJK. I got Panda Senpai. How cute! That's so cool, I didn't realise it was like JJK for them. They've got all these different characters you can get. But I got Panda Senpai. Alright, let's go home. Good morning, it is Sunday and the last day of this one week vlog. This morning I definitely took it slow, I slept in and then I finished editing my convenience store food video which should be up already so please go check it out. It is now one o'clock so it's kind of late but I'm going to head out and walk to Asakusa. I thought I'll do a bit of a wander and a bit of a shop in Asakusa since that was where we stayed last time we were in Japan and I do really like like the area and I feel like it is an area that most tourists do visit while they're in Japan so I'm gonna take you guys along for this um afternoon today's fit check again mostly kind of white and stuff I think it's a little bit chillier today so I'm wearing long sleeve on long sleeve and I put mascara on my newly permed lashes they keep them very curled and very separated. I feel like more than anything, they're really well separated. Plus today is hair wash day, so hence why it's all like up in braids, but yeah. So I believe this area is called Tokyo Mizumachi and it's by a river. We actually came here the first day we came to see Sakura in Ueno back in here. Got the river along here. And then these are actually old shops on the other side. See along here they've got restaurants and places to eat. Just kind of cute. It's like literally like right underneath the railway and there's just a bunch of shops along here. We're at the park. I forget what this park's called. To me the park, I assume. But this is where we sat down and watched Sakura back in April. It says Sumida Sumi the Park. <laughs> Lots of duckies here too.
So the park is pretty much packed with a lot of families doing picnics and stuff, which honestly I feel like today is the perfect day. It's a little bit chillier than it was the last few days. So I guess everyone's taking the opportunity. I'm probably just gonna take a bit of a stroll and then cross the river over to where Asakusa is. I've made it to the Asakusa area and where Sensoji is. I feel like I'm in the middle of everyone, so I'm not the same. They've got all the jinrikishas here and everyone's just hopping on and they take you around the city. I am kind of coming around the back side of Sensoji. Usually you enter through the front called Kaminarimon, but I'm going to work backwards since I want to catch the train back even though I walked here. So I'm going to start off near Sensoji and then go up towards the train station. So here we are. As you can see, a very grand and kind of older temple right in the middle of Tokyo, and it is absolutely beautiful. If you do get a chance, highly recommend. And it's also like something else when you see it at night time, too. So if you can kind of be in the area, see during the day, and then also during the night time, it is absolutely beautiful. I'll pop in a few photos of like when we were here last time and how it looked then. And today is a Sunday, so obviously um, full of tourists as well as just like local tourists, like a lot of Japanese people too. This is called Mikuji, where you draw a number from this and then you find the corresponding box and it gives you its fortune. So I might give it a go. So you pay your 100 yen. Obviously it's up on a system because it's Japan. I'm gonna this. Oh, here we go. 57 is my number. What did I get? I got Kichi, which is like basically the most average luck, but at least it's not bad luck. So we've got this smoke right in front of the big temple, and you're supposed to put the, at least from what I've learned from when I was a kid, is you're supposed to get the smoke and put it on areas that you want to to heal will get better. So say if you have like a sh sore shoulder, you're supposed to put it like on your shoulder to make it heal. I don't have any health issues right now, which is great, but I'm just still gonna bathe because if it means good health, then I'm gonna take it. Let's <laughs> put all incense in there, it's pretty warm. All right, now let's head up to the main temple and say a prayer for good luck. This might also be like an old tale or something I was told when I was young, but it might not be something you do anymore. But in Japan, you used to use a 5 yen, which is goen in Japanese, which goen means luck, basically, like good luck. So people used to throw in a 5 yen to get like extra luck. The amount doesn't matter, but I'm going to, since I had one, I'm going to go with a 5 yen coin. <laughs> So I saw this dango place earlier and honestly it looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna get the seaweed one. Mm, that's good. So I ended up getting the seaweed one. So you definitely don't have to come to um, Asakusa to get this ice cream. They sell it in multiple different places. The Kremia, but it is so good, like literally so good. I think they have it at um, Narita Airport as well, but if you ever come by it, try it because it's... It's something else. Mm. Mm, yeah, it's so good. 
as I'm eating Matsukyo's right in front of me. <laughs> my love, my happy place. So last time we were here in April, I stayed in a place called Bikonte Asakusa, which is like this building here. I can't be bothered going all the way, but it's like a building here. And literally like two seconds down the road is Don Quixote and you have like grocery stores, companies, whatever, like everything you ever want in this area. If you want to be like in the heart of the hustle and bustle and have like everything at your fingertips i feel like that place is an amazing place to stay at and it is like an apartment essentially so you do have a fridge you have a kitchen and all of that so i'll leave the link to that place as well if you guys are looking for places to stay in tokyo i don't have anything in particular i want to get but i want to get a bottle of tea so <laughs> i'm gonna go inside donkey i feel like it's near impossible to vlog inside donkey because it's so loud. But I thought I would show you a couple pics that I feel like you guys would enjoy. So they do have a section of all the collagen here and there. And so far, this has been my favorite one. It doesn't taste like bad and for the price I feel like it's probably one of the best ones. Of course we have the wall of sunscreen. Obviously this one is a like classic or favorite. Sun cut sprays are pretty good too. I've always used them. Also super random, but these throat lollies, you've probably seen them everywhere. These are like number one pick for um, throat lollies too. This is a good one for people with sensitive skin and traveling. They have all these small travel sizes for Curel, a brand that's really good for sensitive skin in Japan. Look how big this suicide cleansing is. Oh my god, it's double the size and it's huge. I have left the chaos of Donkey and I'm gonna head to GU. Oh, when I was in Donkey, I met um, two of you guys, subscribers from the Philippines. It was so cool. It was so lovely to see you guys. Sorry if I was awkward, but yeah, we're gonna keep shopping it's actually a little later than i hope so i don't know how much longer i'll last but let's go into gu so it's on the second floor and they actually do tax free as well so if you didn't know already gu is like a sister brand of uniqlo but they tend to be a little bit more like trend oriented whereas uniqlo is more like basics and stuff so pretty good quality for how like um affordable it is here it is oh such cute peanuts I usually have such bad luck with pants the way they fit because I've got like a big butt and big thighs but a small waist. But I feel like GU's isn't like that bad, honestly. And this one's a two piece where the inside is like a sleeveless dress and then a sweater on top. It's very unlike me, but it's kind of cute. Quick snippet of coming that imon. So this is the front where you would actually see it from like a success story. Oh my goodness! Ah. I'm tired. Okay, let me stop. Alright, so initially my plan was to train back to my Airbnb, but it was like a 35 minute walk or like a 25 minute train ride, and I just knew the trains were gonna be super busy. And if there's anything I hate the most in this world, it is packed trains in Japan. So I decided to walk home. So I am obviously like a little bit tired because it was like a half an hour walk each way. But let me show you guys what I ended up buying. I didn't buy a ton. So a donkey, I first bought this. So I got the strawberry version since I already had the matcha version and I tried the matcha version once and I was like, yep, yeah, I like it. So got that. I also got this Hero Mag Mascara, which I know you guys know that I love it already, but they did have this color, brownish cinnamon, which I had never seen before. And it's more of like a orangey brown. And then it came with a mascara comb as a freebie. I also bought this container of chewing gum. They don't have anything exciting in Australia. So I was like, you know what? I'll buy a couple from Japan because they always have like really yummy flavors. This one has peach, mango, grape, and lemon kiwi. I got this Adafordo cheesecake flavored biscuits because they got little Mickey's on them. And I don't know why I'm the most excited about this, but you guys know me and my um, pickled, crunchy, sour plums. I got the donkey version, which I've never tried before, and it is a big bag. Like this is, I think, more than double the size of like the regular one. So 
very very excited to try these. Then I went to GU. I ended up getting this bag which like so obviously is like a rip off of the COS bag but this one is like obviously much cheaper. But I wanted something that fit a little bit more in because I'm going to Disney tomorrow and then also going to like Osaka Kyoto. So I wanted something that was like a little bit bigger but still comfy to hold and they have this for like I think 20 30 bucks and it does fit a fair bit obviously i also bought this two-piece dress slash knit sweater on top you can wear it apart so you could just wear the dress just wear the sweater or wear it together and i thought it was like kind of a nice khaki color that i don't usually wear and then the last thing i got was <laughs> this dumbo shirt i'm considering wearing it to the park tomorrow it is a long sleeve and i got kind of like a big size to wear it like oversized but it's got a Dumbo on it. And I got this one at a store called Honey's. It's kind of like a clothing store kind of aimed at younger girls in Japan. But they often do do cute collabs. Like right now they've got Tom and Jerry. They've got Sesame Street. They've got Sanrio characters like Kuromi and Pom Pom Purin, And they usually always have Disney. So I got that one. The rest of the day I'm going to wash my hair, eat dinner, edit my thumbnail for my video. <laughs> and then get up tomorrow to go to Disney. So... I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this one week vlog of my solo trip in Tokyo, Japan. It had been quite some time since I vlogged and I know my vlogs are very all over the place and not very like aesthetic and stuff, but I just don't think I would enjoy my days if I spent like all this time kind of setting up shots and this and that. So this is the way I like to vlog. I still hope you enjoyed it and got a snippet into my time in Japan. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you check out another one of my videos here and subscribe. I hope you guys have a wonderful time, day, night, whatever time it is, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Mwah.